Magandang buhay po at welcome po muli dito sa aking channel. Ngayon naman po ang aking pong tuturo is illustrate ko po ang arithmetic sequence. So ano nga ba ang arithmetic sequence? So magbibigay po ako ng different examples. And so, magpipresent po ako ng different arithmetic sequence at ituturo ko po kung paano po kunin yung kanyang common difference. Okay, so ano nga ba ang arithmetic sequence? It is a list of numbers with definite pattern. So meaning to say, ang arithmetic sequence ay mayroon pong specific pattern. The difference between consecutive terms in this sequence is constant. For example, ito po yung ating sequence, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. If you are going to subtract consecutive terms, dapat ay constant. So ano po ba yung constant? Pare-pareho. So, the constant difference is called the common difference. So, let's try. Subtract po natin yung ating terms from right to left. So, 12 minus 10 is 2. Then, 10 minus 8 is 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. And 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So, ito pong difference na yan, yan po ang tiyatawag na common difference. So, Kapag pare-pareho po yung difference na yan, ibig sabihin, yung sequence po ay arithmetic sequence. So, pag hindi po pareho yung common difference o yung difference, hindi po yan arithmetic. Okay? At kapag ang common difference ay positive, kapag isubtract mo from right to left, ang ating pong sequence na given ay increasing. Okay? So, subukan natin balik na rin yung sequence. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. So, tignan natin kung ito ay arithmetic sequence. Okay, let's subtract the terms from right to left. So, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Also, 6 minus 8 is negative 2. And 8 minus 10 is negative 2. Since meron po silang common difference, meaning to say, yung given po na sequence ay arithmetic sequence. Pero, yung kanyang common difference ay negative, so yung sequence ay decreasing. So, ibig sabihin, hindi lang po ang sequence ay increasing. Pwede rin po ang decreasing. Okay, so since ang arithmetic sequence ay may definite pattern at may common difference, so mean to say, kaya po nating kunin yung next term in the sequence. So, for example, we have arithmetic sequence 3, 6, 9. Okay, ito po ba yung arithmetic? If you're going to subtract from right to left, the difference is 3. 9 minus 6, and 6 minus 3 is 3. So, meron po siyang common difference. So, ibig sabihin siya po ay arithmetic. Okay. So, pwede po natin kunin yung kanyang next terms. Ano po? So, paano po ba kunin yung kanyang next term? Since ang common difference po ay 3, we just add 3 to the previous term to get the next term. Okay. For example, next term ng 3, 6, 9. So, 9 plus yung common difference na 3, that is equal to 12. Ayan po yung next term. Kung gusto ko pong makukuha yung another term, mag a lang po ng plus 3. So, 12 plus 3 is equal to 15 and so on. So, gawin po yung pagkuha ng other terms. So, madali lang po. Pero, kapag ganito po yung ating sequence or arithmetic sequence, paano kaya kunin yung kanyang next term? So, yun po yung aking ipapaliwanag on how to find the next term and how to get the common difference in an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so ito po yung mga different arithmetic sequence na atin pong ipapaliwanag. Paano po kunin yung kanyang common difference? At paano po isolve yung next term or terms in the given sequence? Pero bago po tayo magpatuloy, click lamang po ang like. And then, click na rin po yung subscribe kung bago ka po sa aking channel. At yun na rin po ang notification bell upang sa ganun ay ma-update ka pa sa iba pang video tutorial na aking i-upload sa mga susunod. At kung mayroon ka pong katanungan, comment lang po sa comment box. At yung aking pong reply ay magno-notify po sa inyo kapag kayo po ay nag-subscribe at na-click yung notification bell. Okay, so find the common difference and next term in the given arithmetic sequence. So this number 1, the sequence is 16, 4, negative 8, negative 20. Okay, so how to find the common difference? We are going to subtract from right to left. So, negative 20 minus negative 8. Ano po? So, if you're going to simplify that one, paano po ba? Since 
minus negative, lalagyan po natin ng close and open parenthesis yung negative 8. So, if you're going to add or subtract, yung minus negative na yan magiging plus. So, plus 8. So, negative 20 plus 8 is equal to negative 12. Okay? So, ang ating pong difference, first difference is negative 12. Then next, we are going to subtract negative 8 minus positive 4. Kaya negative 8 minus 4 is equal to pareho pong negative. Ia-add lang po natin yan. 8 plus 4 is 12 and then yung sign lang negative. Kaya negative 12. Okay? And then yung last, 4 minus 16. So 4 minus 16 is equal to negative 12 also. Since we have common difference that is equal to negative 12, negative siya, ibig sabihin yung ating arithmetic sequence ay decreasing. So, tama po decreasing. Di ba po? Kasi 16, 4, negative 8, negative 20. So, paano po kunin yung kanyang next term? So, i-add lang po natin yung ating pong common difference sa last term nating negative 20. So, negative 20 plus negative 12 is negative 32. Okay, so yun po yung next term sa negative 20. Then, kung gusto mo pong makuha yung next term ng negative 32, i-add mo lang po yung negative 12. Okay, so number 2 example, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6. So, yung ating pong sequence ay increasing, meaning to say, dapat ang ating pong common difference ay positive. So, tingnan po natin, subtract the terms from right to left. So, negative 6 minus negative 7. So, negative 6 magiging minus negative plus 7. And negative 6 plus 7 is equal to positive 1. So, tama po. 1 ang kanyang difference. How about this one? Negative 7 minus negative 8. So, negative 7 again minus negative kaya plus 8. So, negative 7 plus 8 is equal to 1. So, the common difference is positive 1. So, meaning to say, yung ating po arithmetic sequence ay increasing. Now, how to get the next term of the sequence? So, ang last term po doon ay negative 6. I-add lang po natin yung common difference na 1. So, negative 6 plus 1 is equal to negative 5. So, yung next term po niyan, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. And so on. Okay, so number 3 example. This time, ang ating pong terms sa ating arithmetic sequence ay decimal numbers. Okay, so 0 0.07. 0 0.13, 0 0.19, 0 0.25. If you notice, yung ating pong terms sa ating sequence ay increasing. So, to say, dapat ang kanyang common difference ay positive. Tingnan po natin. Subtract from right to left. So, 0.25 minus 0 0.19 is equal to 0 0.06. Okay? And then, 0 0.19 minus 0 0.13 is equal to 0 0.06. And then, yung last, 0 0.13 minus 0 0.07 is equal to 0 0.06. So, yung common difference po natin dyan is 0 0.06. So, positive po siya, kaya ang ating pong arithmetic sequence ay increasing. So, how to get the next term? I-add lang po natin yung common difference na 0 0.06 to get the next term. So, 0 0.25 plus 0 0.06 is 0 0.06. 31. So, yan lang po yan. And then, kung gusto pong makuha yung next term pa, i-add mo pa po yung 0 0.06 sa 0 0.31. Okay, so how about this example? So, decimal na, negative pa. So, negative 0 0.65, negative 0 0.52, negative 0 0.39. So, what is the common difference? Again, you are going to subtract from right to left. Okay. So, negative 0 0.39 minus negative 0 0.52. So, again, yung minus negative magiging plus 0 0.52. If you're going to add, that is equal to 0 0.13. Ano po? And then, the next, 0 point or negative 0 0.52 minus negative 0 0.65. So, again, magiging plus yung ne minus negative. So, plus 0 0.65 is equal to... 0.13. So, yung common difference po natin dyan ay 0.13. So, positive po yung common difference natin, meaning to say, yung ating pong sequence ay increasing. So, what is the next term in the given sequence? Ang last term po natin ay 0. Point, or negative 0.39. I-add lang po natin yung common difference na 
0.13. Then, the sum is 0. Point or negative 0. 0.26. Okay, so how about this number 5? 1 fifth, negative 9 over 5, negative 19 over 5, negative 29 over 5. So, this time, yung given po dyan ay fraction. Okay, so paano nga ba kunin yung kanyang common difference? So, again, we are going to subtract the terms from right to left. So, negative 29 over 5 minus negative 19 over 5. Okay? So, again, minus negative magiging plus 19 over 5. So, paano po i-add yung ating dalawang fractions? If you notice, yung ating pong denominators ay equal. So, pareho pong 5, like terms po yung fraction natin. All you have to do is add the numerator. So, negative 29 plus 19 is negative 10 over 5. So, yung first difference natin ay negative 10 over 5. So, next, negative 19 minus negative 9 over 5. So, again, minus negative, kaya magiging plus 9 over 5. So, the same again, yung kanilang denominators. So, add the numerators, negative 19 plus 9 is negative 10 over 5. So, lagay po natin doon, negative 10 over 5. Then, last, negative 9 over 5 minus 1 over 5. So, again, pareho yung denominator na 5. So, subtract or add mo lang yung ating uh, numerator. So, negative 9 minus 1 is negative 10 over 5. So, yung ating pong common difference is negative 10 over 5 or pwede pong isimplify 10 divided by 5 is 2 and that is negative kaya negative 2. Since negative po yung ating common difference, yung ating pong arithmetic sequence na given ay decreasing. Now, how to find the next term in the sequence? I-add lang po natin yung common difference na negative 10 over 5. Kaya hindi ko po kaagad sinimplify. Ano po? Para mas madali pong mag-add kapag kukunin po natin yung next term. So, negative 29 over 5 plus negative 10 over 5. Pareho po ulit yung denominator na 5. So, add lang po natin. Negative 29 plus negative 10. That is negative 39 over 5. Okay. So, how about this number 6 example? Combination of full number and fraction. So, 1 half, 1, 3 half, 2. So, what is the common difference and what is the next term? So, to get the common difference, you're going to subtract from right to left. So, 2 minus 3 over 2. So, paano po isolve yan? Cross multiply lang po natin kasi yan po ay hindi po pareho yung kanilang denominator. So, 2, yung whole number times 2 na denominator ng 3 over 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Minus natin yung 3 na numerator. 4 minus 3 is 1. So, 1 over yung denominator na 2. Kaya, 1 half. So, yung first difference natin ay 1 half. Next, 3 over 2 minus 1. So, ano pong gagawin dyan? Again, cross multiply. 3 times denominator ng whole number na 1. So, ang denominator dyan ay 1. So, 3 times 1 is 1. And then, I minus natin yung 2 times 1 is 2. So, 3 minus 2, that is equal to 1 over yung denominator na 2. Okay? So, second difference natin is 1 half. Then, next, 1 minus 1 half. Isa, bawasan mo ng kalahati. Ibig sabihin, yan po ay kalahati. So, 1 half din. Ano po? So, yung ating pong common difference is positive 1 half. So, meaning to say, yung ating pong arithmetic sequence ay increasing. So, now, how to get the next term? I-add lang po natin yung common difference again na 1 half dun sa last term. So, 2 plus 1 half, ibig sabihin 2 and 1 half. Ano po? Or, sa improper fraction, 5 over 2. Okay, so salamat po sa inyong panood. Kung mayroon po kayong katanungan sa lesson na ito, comment lang po sa comment box at hintayin po ninyo yung aking reply. Huwag lang pong kalimutan na i-like at i-subscribe upang ma-notify po kayo sa aking reply.